Uh, today's a big day, and Ubuntu 12.04 has been unleashed onto the world. Um, surprisingly, I did a in-place upgrade. It was only like 80 some megabytes. I guess it was accumulated from the fixes of the beta because I've been running it for a while. So this is a. I'll try to keep this quick. Is uh, there's lots of things you can use to tweak the interface, and no, this is not movable yet, but it's. We'll see. So, like I said before, my Unity, Muntu Tweak, uh, GNOME uh, settings, and another one I just uh, came across was called, uh, da, 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 da. there it is, Unsettings. Hmm. And most interesting, probably, uh, thing for you, most users that don't like Unity as much, but can put up with it, and it's a uh, attributes is uh, for example you can um, turn off the overlay scroll bars which I have because I, I find them kind of weird you can cl turn off the global menu so what that means is uh, if you open Firefox you don't have a menu here it's up here as you see so if I turn that off and probably by restarting or logging out it will uh, do that and you have to save that by the way and uh, show the heads up display I mean that's just the alt you type in your command it doesn't bother me but you can turn it off and I'm not sure what these other two are I've never click on focus whatever desktop themes now this is kind of interesting you say update theme list and unfortunately uh, some of the I the cursor themes I tried they don't work no matter restart shut down whatever doesn't work inside the browsers or it doesn't work on the desktop which is too bad I guess they're just not supported by uh, GNOME 3 shell probably but it is kind of neat and this little guy up here is it says setting set settings to default values um, load currently used settings load settings from a file so this is interesting if you like the settings you have okay you, you can save them to a file so you can go to and it's an unsettings file so I'll just call it uh, settings for now just for now let's see if we can load yeah right there settings dot unsettings and that's it so you can look through these. Uh, this is kind of handy for uh, if you want to use the cube effect like I have. Uh, you have to set it to uh, four horizontal workspaces, okay, to get the cube. If not, you'll just get uh, some weird flat thing. <laughs> and of course, to show desktop icons like home, computer, trash, network, over shortcut overlay. Uh, I don't know if that's really working. Um, I try I did I did try turning it on let me see um, I'm not sure they mean like a link uh, let me see um, this would be on desktop so I'm just trying to find something that would be a well, clear clipboard make link let's move it over to the desktop okay Close. I like I said. I'm not sure if it means uh, that kind of thing. Off. And say save. Mm, don't know. I'm not sure. I might have to log out. But anyway, Alt Tab uses Alt Tab uses all viewpoints. Now that's kind of interesting. And next monitor pressure pressure. Okay, obviously I haven't been looking through this too thoroughly, but there's some interesting, so Alt-Tab alt uses viewpoints. Okay, we'll save that. And I'll we'll open Alt-Tab, I guess, uh, some Windows applications. Uh, I don't know why. Like again, 
Could be a reboot or a logout is needed. Okay, so that's it, basically. Oh, and I'll put it in the notes where to get it. You can download it from a uh, non-Linux uh, site. You can get it through the terminal as well as the repository, um, which is probably the best way, but uh, version 0.6, I think. 0 0.06, 0 0.6, 0 0.06, okay, close. So, okay, yeah, that's about it. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll just put the, uh, a download link and then you can Google for more sources or whatever. So uh, that's, uh, that's all for now. And uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good one and take care. Bye for now.